Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen ben -Nun. you're watching Israeli News Live. We have very serious news coming out of Russia, and uh, it says in the article here on TASS News here, Air Force units of, Rus of Russian Western Military District alerted with a snap check. Uh, supposedly this is a drill. Much like the United States, when the United States does drills, we find out that it is really because of a certain issue that may be going on in the background that we're unaware of. And let me just kind of remind you of what I mean by that. The United States declared back uh, several months ago that they were doing a naval drill in the Black Sea. This is when there was a big issue over Crimea uh, in Russia, uh, trying to get them to secede from uh, the Ukrainian Republic and becoming part of the Russian Federation. Well, the United States Navy did what they called a drill in the Black Sea, but later when Russia released the, the, the documentary, uh, The Way Home, which it speaks about this particular incident, Russia let us know that this was not a drill. In fact, it was really a, an escalation of tension that was about to erupt into a nuclear war. And now we are seeing once again headlines in the news here, a snap military check uh, in Russia. And let me let, just read to you what is in this article because this will actually give you a better idea of just how serious this is. Moscow, on September the 7th, the command and part of aviation formations on the 6th Air Force and Air Defense Army of the Western Military District, stationed in Russia's Central Military District, have been alerted within a surprise combat readiness uh, inspection of the district's command and control bodies and forces, the Russian Defense Ministry's press service told TASS on Monday. Aviation units on the Western Military District have been put on full combat alert. The flight personnel and technical engineer personnel involved in the surprise inspection activities will soon conduct redeployment to operational airfields, the ministry said. Redeployment to operational air for, airfields. This is taking them to the western region of the country there, right there uh, on the border of the former Soviet Union there, the eastern part of Europe now says here after that the aviation units of the Western Military District will come under operational command of the commander of the 14th Air Force and Air Defense Army of Central Military District and start to perform their combat training task within the framework of the surprise combat readiness inspection of the troops. Uh, of the Central Military District, the ministry said, also notice the next part here, formations of the 98th Airborne Division stationed in of uh, uh, Ivanova and uh, Kostroma, armed with these service weapons and equipment within a surprise combat readiness inspection, have moved to airfields. The Russian Defense Ministry press service told TASS on Monday, the unit's personnel received the service weapons and equipment and prepared the vehicles for, for marches and airborne insert. Uh, the four detachments are conducting reconnaissance and air defenses on the routes of the movement to the aerial ports of embarkation, uh, the ministry said. Uh, the units are moving to, uh, excuse me, we just read that there. The surprise combat readiness inspection of the for, uh, forces of Russia's Central Military District was started on Monday on the order of the Supreme Command and Chief of the Russian Armed Forces. The forces of the, of the Central Military District and part of the aviation of the military district's airborne forces and military transport aviation were put on full combat alert at 9.30 a.m. Moscow time uh, on September the 7th. The inspection will last until September the 12th. What is happening in this part of the world, in East Europe and Western Russia, that has got Russia doing a full combat alert? You're talking about moving a massive amount of troops and military hardware, uh, planes, fighters, uh, airborne attack, assault, this is in preparation, no doubt, for invasion if that's what Russia had to do. Uh, it's, it's very interesting to see. Is there something the United States is doing that has got Russia uh, on edge? Uh, we do know that the United States has moved into Germany. Some of the most advanced military aircraft ever uh, that the U.S. has ever built in order to be part of the European uh, force here. So it may be that Russia is certainly on edge after this particular move by the United States. Uh, time will only tell what will happen there.
So we are definitely seeing that Russia is certainly preparing for something. And the question is, will it only end up being a drill, which is what we're kind of hoping that that's all it's going to be, or will we actually see something come out of this issue with Ukraine? There has been calls by certain people in uh, American governments that have asked the United States to back down from the Ukrainian issue, that it is certainly becoming an, in, uh, an issue that could completely boil, completely out of control. Uh, in other news as well, we'll be bringing to you tomorrow, uh, thanks to Sister Lisa Haven there with her news uh, uh, group that she does on, on uh, before it's news, she sent me the document of the Sanhedrin Council, uh, their, their official draft where they have, uh, and let me just bring up to who, who they've actually charged in this, it's the indictment the people of Israel versus Pope Francis, uh, President Barack Obama, John Kerry, uh, the signatory nations to the Iran nuclear agreement, uh, the joint comprehensive plan of the action, uh, the U.S., Great Britain, Russia, Germany, France, and China, the United Nations Security Council, uh, the uh, UNESCO, Supreme Court of the United States of America, the Human Rights Court of The Hague, the International Criminal Court of The Hague, and the European Union have all been indicted by the Sanhedrin of Israel's court crimes against Israel as well as crimes against humanity. I will actually go through the entire document with you tomorrow on our news broadcast as well as bring up some other issues that they have missed themselves. Uh, the indictment, though, is very accurate. The thing is, is some things that they have actually missed. Uh, anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I would love to say Shabbat Shalom. Of course, it's not the Sabbath. Uh, but uh, the, the point being, I'd love to say Shalom, but we clearly see that there is no peace in the world. It is Ain Shalom. There is no peace. Good evening.